Christmas. If I didn't bring it up, the MTA says the future of the New York City Transit is in crisis. Top officials say they need $12 billion in federal emergency funds to keep this system running. At a virtual meeting, they held it yesterday. Transit yeah. officials said without aid, more than 9,000 people could lose their jobs. Subways and bus service could be slashed by as much as 40%. Uh, LIRR and Metro North commuter lines could be slashed by 50%. I mean, this is big, Marty. Well, it's huge. I mean, uh, the MTA uh, and mass transit really is what links the economics of this region together. Uh, but people are clearly not using mass transit. They're taking their cars in. Nobody trusts it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and so that's what you're seeing, and that's the problem that the MTA has. Clearly, they're not going to be bailed out by New York State. They're waiting to see if the federal government comes up with money. Uh, if the Republicans uh, hold on to the Senate in those two Georgia special election, you're not going to see the money coming. Uh, come, I, no, I do not believe you'll see the money coming into the MTA. Uh, and I don't think you'll see money bailing out the states. So this is a this is a real tragedy. And they're talking about, I think, 9000 employee layoff yes. of a 70 of a 72000 uh, employee workforce. The MTA has you know, that's about 12 percent. That's a lot. Uh, and and uh, it's really being caused by the habits, the traveling habits of the workforce. And they're being driven by the, the fear of COVID. So this is going to be, if the MTA does have to uh, uh, take those draconian cuts or increase fares or change the structure of their, of their zones, uh, it's going to be, and that's going to, that's going to exacerbate uh, the economic uh, problems in the region because 9,000 uh, workers making maybe 60, 70, $80,000 a piece, it's a lot of money to lose in the economy.